Hi, and welcome to the channel, which is about helping you create more of your own audio and video content. I'm going to show you how to automatically transcribe your audio content in Adobe Premiere Pro. This can help you create YouTube captions, speed up your video editing, and without much extra effort, help you repurpose your existing videos into new content. Adobe Premiere Pro got a major update in 2022, so if you're still using an earlier version, you'll need to update the app to follow along properly. Obviously, Premiere Pro is a video editing app, but you can use it to automatically transcribe any speech. That includes the speech and videos or audio recordings, which can be podcasts, interviews, or even what you've dictated into a smartphone or digital audio recorder. So how do you transcribe speech in Adobe Premiere Pro? The first step is to have a sequence that includes your media. That could be a finished video you want to transcribe so that you can create captions. Or you could just be starting to edit a project, so you'll need to import your video or audio files and drop them into the sequence. Once you have a sequence with media to transcribe, the next step is to change to the Captions and Graphics workspace. If you're not already there, click Window in the main menu bar. Then on Workspaces in the drop-down menu, finally click on Captions and Graphics. Alternatively, use the keyboard shortcut of Alt-Shift plus 4 to change to the Captions and Graphics workspace. If you don't see the Captions panel, click on the Text tab to open it. You should see three buttons in the middle of the panel. Transcribe Sequence, Create New Caption Track, and Import Captions from File. Obviously, you'll need to click on the Transcribe Sequence button. But before moving on, let me say there is another way of getting here, and it's ideal if you want to work on a transcript while remaining in another workspace, such as the editing workspace, as I am here. To do that, click on Window in the main menu bar, then Text in the drop-down menu. The Captions window opens as a floating panel, and you will see the same three buttons as before, but now you can move the Captions panel around the screen and still be in the editing workspace. To get on with the transcription process, click the Transcribe Sequence button. This will cause the Create Transcript window to open. The first thing to do is to choose your language. You can see Premiere Pro thinks that my speech is English. But if that's not correct, click the down arrow and choose the correct language from the list. I'm from the UK, so I'll select UK English. Interestingly, the first time that I used the transcription feature, Premiere Pro gave me a much longer list of English dialects, including Caribbean, Indian, and several others. It must be learning, though, because the app now only offers me two forms of English. But you can see it also gives me the option of downloading other language models. Once you've set the language, you need to choose which audio to analyze. In the drop-down window, you can choose Mix, which is all the audio in the mix, or any of the individual audio tracks. What you can't do is choose two or more individual tracks, like Audio 1 plus Audio 2. So if you have speech on two tracks, you'll need to choose Mix, and then in the sequence, mute any tracks with music, atmosphere, and sound effects. In my project, I've only got speech on Audio Track 1, so I'll only analyze that by choosing Audio 1. Normally, the whole sequence will be transcribed, but if you only want a short section to be transcribed, you can use In and Out Points for that section. With In and Out Points created, you'll be able to check the option Transcribe In Point to Out Point Only. If you do check that box, the next option becomes available of merging the output with an existing transcription. 
Clearly, that would be useful if you have added additional media to the sequence. I'm not going to check either of those options since I just want the whole sequence to be transcribed. There's a final option that lets Premiere Pro recognize when different speakers are talking. If you check that box, Premiere Pro will do its best to split the speech into sections marked Speaker 1, Speaker 2, etc. That's useful, but you might as well leave that box checked even if only one person is speaking. Finally, go ahead and click the blue Transcribe button. Premiere Pro will render the audio, start the transcription process, and display an estimate of the remaining time till completion, which I assume will depend upon the speed of your computer. Previously, Premiere Pro used to upload the audio to the cloud for processing, but since the 2022 update, the processing seems to happen on your computer. Once complete, the transcribed audio will appear in the transcript window, along with timestamps for each paragraph and an indication of who was speaking. If there was only one person speaking, then each paragraph will indicate that it's speaker one who was talking. I found that the auto transcription is usually quite accurate, but not always perfect. There probably will be a few errors, usually names or figures, where there can be a bit of ambiguity. There may also be a problem with accents, so do check the transcript if you're going to use it to create captions, a blog post, or even an ebook. To make any corrections, double click on a word in the panel. The whole segment will become editable and you can make any necessary changes. When you're done, click off to the side of the segment and your changes will be saved. Now, if you're looking for a specific word, the transcription panel has a find and replace feature. Type the word into the search bar and all instances of the word will appear highlighted. You can move between them using the up and down buttons or just click on the one that you want. Then click the replace button, that's the one with the two arrows that are head to tail. A replace with box will open. Along with two other buttons, the left one will replace the currently selected word with the new word you type into the box. And the right button will replace all the instances of the word that you searched for. That's useful for editing the transcript, but the search feature is also useful when editing your video. You can easily find a specific word or phrase in your video clips by doing a word search instead of trying to locate the position that you want by scrubbing along the sequence with the playhead. For example, in a recent video about recording with a Samsung phone, I said Android several times. To find those points in the video, I can type Android into the search bar and each instance of the word in the transcript will be highlighted. And by using the up and down buttons, I can move between them. The playhead moves to that point in the sequence. All that is great for editing, but say you want to export the transcript, how do you do that? Notice the three horizontal dots at the top right of the transcript panel. Click on them to reveal a drop-down menu. But don't click on Export Transcript, it's not what you want. Instead, choose either Export to Text File or Export to CSV File. If you export to a text file, you'll get a document where each segment of the transcript starts with the speaker info and time code. But if you export to a CSV file, the speaker, start time, end time, and transcript will all appear in separate columns of a spreadsheet, which can actually be very useful. In fact, the CSV file may be the best option if there's just one speaker. You can quickly copy the column with the transcript and paste that into a Word document as plain text. Whereas if you export to a text file and then open it, you'll have each segment with the speaker info and timecode at the start, which you'll then have to delete manually which can be time consuming for a long video. As you've seen, the auto transcribe feature in Adobe Premiere Pro has a few applications. It's pretty accurate and it's easy to use. It's a feature that savvy content creators 
can use to speed up their video editing and help them repurpose their video content into other formats. Hopefully, you found this video useful. If you have, please hit the like button. It really does help me here on YouTube. If you want to see more content on recording your own audio and videos, please subscribe to this channel. You'll also find in-depth articles on my website, DIYVideoStudio.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll join me again soon.